Saturdays with Sarah, but also sometimes Sunday because I am a full-time student and I'm really busy. Yeah. Where do I not look fat? Um. Hey friends, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So me and my roommates have been living in our apartment currently. I think I've been here for like a year and a half now and we're about to move in July. Hopefully we can find a place. Um, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but I figured it was about time for a room tour. Um, so currently I live in a place called University House. That's right across from Cal State Fullerton. It's not associated with the university but it's almost all college students that live here. Um, not a fan. <laughs> Very overpriced. Everyone that lives here just parties and is super disrespectful. Um, you could look at my Yelp review if you want to learn more about University House. <laughs> We're moving for a great reason. But we've just lived here because of convenience. We can walk to school. It came furnished, washer dryer, stuff like that. But anyway, so for almost the whole time I've lived here, I had my room set up a completely different way. Um, but right when quarantine started, I got really antsy and I just really wanted to move and redecorate. And I was like, oh my god, we still have like four months of our lease. So I just moved my room around the only other way that like the furniture would work to get that little bug out of my system. So I'm going to insert a video now of what my room looked like before. Um, I just took a really quick video because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to move my room around or not. But here's what it looked like. It's very messy. But that's what my room looked like for the most part. This has been my setup for all of quarantine and I really really love it so let's get into the video all right so here is my bedroom door my room is the first door on the right and I think it's slightly the biggest room I got lucky ignore the ring light that I'm using <laughs> but when you walk in this is what you see my desk is over here I have all this shit over here and my door to my closet so I would describe my style as, well my favorite colors are like pink and green as you could probably tell. I love beachy bohemian vibes, a little cottage core. I also really like like Italian, um, like 1980s Italian and like fancy French vibes. Oh my god, someone just walked by my window! We're on the first floor. Um, but yeah, so I've just, obviously all this stuff is just stuff that I had, but I've tried to like decorate it as cute as I can with things that I have. So if you look to the left when you walk in, you will see this wall, which is probably my least favorite wall because um, it's just kind of boring stuff. Um, I made these two little paintings by like pouring some acrylic paint, but it was kind of chunky so they turned out kind of bad. This is my whiteboard where I list all of my days of the week, things that I want to get done to-do list so I can feel good and cross stuff off. And then I just have a traditional calendar from like a rescue or I keep track of my days. You know, quarantine, it's getting harder and harder. This is just kind of a hodgepodge shelf, paint brushes. I have this clock I made in like seventh grade. Tissues, here are my whiteboard markers in this cute little mug. And then it was recently my birthday so I put all my cards here, but usually I have like a picture frame. Down here, I just keep all of my like cords that I use often there, and then these are just some miscellaneous plays. And then I keep my mini ears down here for when I <laughs> Disney Light is open. And then these are just a bunch of shirts that I need to give away um, that are staying there right now. <laughs> and then this is a new installation. <laughs> this is a hanging spot for all of my masks and sunglasses. But these are all of the masks that I have. I was just like throwing them right here and then I realized I should hang them so I don't like get all the germs everywhere. This is my hamper. 
it's not cute and it's always overflowing but until I can get a new cuter hamper I put this little cardboard piece in the middle so my delicates are on the outside and my non delicates are on the outside because every time I would have to dump out my hamper onto the floor and separate them so I just did that and then this is my closet door it doesn't shut all the way because I have these little hanging things there but those hold all my bags I have like my school backpack little purses and then my small backpack and my big purse that I use every day when I'm going out these doors are a really ugly color but what are you gonna do and then this is a pretty nice size closet I'm just like a hoarder though so it is overflowing um, I have clothes all up here and just like storage that I don't use as much like weird Halloween costumes and electronics and things um, and then I keep some heels on this level, jackets and stuff, and then this is like my office bin where I keep like tape and like tacks and staplers and all that shit. And then shorts and sweaters. When I have a job, that's where my costumes go for Disney and I put my yoga mat over there. So it's kind of a mess, but. And then moving on over, I have my mirror right here. So this is just like a cheap stick on mirror that I got for my dorm, but I thought it would be cuter if I leaned it up on this cute box. So I just put a pair of heels in here to make it look cute. And then cute little picture of my family, my little porg, and I propped my mirror up against the wall so it's leaning a little bit and just threw, I bought a bunch of this fake ivy off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Made my room a lot cuter. I love the look of it. <laughs> Sorry, my mirror's really dirty. <laughs> and I put my I Voted sticker and my extra passport photo. <laughs> and then moving on over. So this is the first piece of furniture that came with the room. Um, you could separate these drawers, the two and the two. So for a long time, they were under my bed when my room was the other way. But now they are like a dresser kind of moment. Um, so I just keep like underwear and socks, like bras and pajamas, pants, leggings, and like athletic shirts or sleeping shirts in there. And then I really like this cute little setup up here. Um, I have all of my rings and my Sigma Kappa pin. Cute little framed photo of me and my little and my planties. And then I have this cool little board um, that's a picture of me in Hawaii and then these are pictures, they aren't mine, from Italy um, that was used in a recruitment setup for Sigma Kappa that I may have took. This is a fake succulent that I've had for a while. And then this is my not so cute but very practical setup. I tried to put it all in this little bin so it would stay not all over because <laughs> that's what it was doing. But this is my remote for my lights, birth control. I have my blue light glasses and my prescription glasses, my night moisturizer, chafing cream, face lotion, lavender, um, bed spray that I use at night, deodorant, contact solution. Um, a lot of this setup is very like centered around me being in bed and me being able to sit at my desk because as you know, the quarantine is going on. so. For a while I was doing school at home and I needed a good place to work and I also spent a lot of time in my bed because <laughs> what else are we supposed to do? And then I keep this little space open for my hydro flask and this is where I charge my phone at night. Put my phone here. Got my cute little lamp. I freaking love this lamp. It's from Target. I think they still sell it. I feel like I recently saw it. Um, and then I have my agenda and a little self-care book that I never write in because <laughs> I don't know and then this wall just has my little made that for me Miko my big made that for me a lot of the art I have is from my bigs or littles because we make each other a lot of art for reveal in um sororities and they're really cute so I just hang them up on my wall <laughs> then I have this mirror that I've had forever I realize that you cannot see anything in the mirror <laughs> It used to be more accessible, but since I have this one right here, oh my god, the ring light makes my mirror look so dirty. 
Um, I figured you didn't really need to see it and it just looks nice with the wave tapestry and it reflects light so it's a plus. I hang my three hats that I own right here. Got this off Etsy. And yeah. And then down here is Oliver's second litter box. I had this weird little nook. Um, oh, if you don't know, I have a rabbit, Oliver. Watch my other videos. Interlude. Um, if you guys want to see an update on Oliver, if you watched my like, I adopted a bunny video and like why bunnies are good apartment pets video. I was thinking of doing like an update video since I've had him for, it's gonna be a year and like a few months. Um, and our setup has changed a lot since I adopted him. So for any of my like bunny viewers or people that are just curious, um, give this a thumbs up if you want to see an update on my sweet little Ollie. Or just follow me on Instagram. I post about him every single day. So yes, this is his second little litter box spot. I had this little awkward nook and I needed a spot to put his second litter box and Bunny's like going to the bathroom in corners. So that has worked out well. Over here is my bed. I think this is like my favorite corner of my room. It looks really nice all together when I actually make my bed, which is literally never because I'm always just in and out of it all day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, here's my wave tapestry. I really, really love this. Big beach gal. And I just think it's super pretty and it like anchors the bed to the wall. It's kind of like a headboard. And then I freaking love these. I got these off Amazon. They're hanging macrame pots. I got two for like $15. And then I just stuffed the fake ivy that I also got on Amazon in there. Um, because I can't have real hanging plants because like I don't know it would drip on my head when I watered them and then I just put a tiny little sea hook in the ceiling to hang them because they're super light and I love them um, and then I have my two scratch off maps over here and then I just have some little prints that I've collected and this beautiful dream catcher I've always really really loved dream catchers I totally believe in them um that i think i got from long beach from this really cool store and then i have my window definitely my least favorite thing about this whole apartment and also my room is how dark it is we're on the first floor and we face in so there's literally no natural light coming in um so this is my one window in my room i made these diy curtains um because i just have like ugly blinds on it and they are my favorite thing ever. They make the room so much more like magical and enchanting and it lets a lot of light in in the morning when I just close them at night. If you wanna know how I made those, let me know. <laughs> it was really easy. Um, and then I just put my little baby plants here so they get a lot of sun, my little coin jar. My friend made me this a long time ago. I still really love it. But these are newly planted propagating babies. Just a little candle. And then below my bed, we have Oliver's area. I was gonna clean it up, and then I thought that would be unrealistic because it's always dirty because he's a fucking rabbit. <laughs> but so when my room was the other way, my bed was over here, Oliver's area was under here. So it was kind of hard transferring all of his things over here. Um, my bed post used to be there. That's why there's a huge hole in it. But as you know, I have these mats, so all of mostly like his dirty hay stuff stays in this area. This is his big litter box full of hay. Oh, damn him is. Hi, sweetie. He loves hanging out under my bed, so this is like his favorite spot. This trash can is full of his hay, so it's really nice. It's right next to that main litter box. I keep his pellets and his food bowl right there. And then he loves to lay on this little mat it cools him off. I have his little water dish. And all of these like little poops, or he doesn't poop all over. Bunnies are very litter box trained very easily. Um, but when he jumps out, he kicks them out. So I might eventually get a lid for that because I think now he's comfortable enough that he would be fine jumping in with a lid. I have this other little bed that he hates, but I spent a lot of money on. <laughs> his carrier is right here. And then under my bed, he has his favorite bed, which is just a piece of fabric from Joanne's. His little Heidi house over there that he rips to shreds, lots of toys. And then him hiding back there, because it's his sleepy time. 
he's nocturnal. <laughs> but otherwise, under my bed, I have these three little compartments from Target for all of my shoes that I just throw in there. I have another one full of Oliver's toys and like a harness and stuff. That tub is for Oliver too. It's all of his litter, cleaning supplies, um, pee pads for his litter box. That's a suitcase. I covered it up with a towel because it is Oliver's favorite spot to lay during the day. And then I keep my tripods over here. That's his tunnel that is occasionally out. Backpack, just storage. Um, I have make sure that this little spot is open because Oliver loves to run through it and all the way behind my bed. He loves the tunnel. <laughs> and then this is probably my other favorite part of my room. This is like my art wall that I get to look at while I'm laying in bed. So I have my other little plant up here. Then I have a wildflower little tapestry that I got in Joshua Tree, which is really cute. And then up there, I have a canvas made from my little Sydney. And the chip one was made from my little Miko. Super talented and cute. I think this is a birthday card that I got, but I thought it was cute. It's like travel themed. Two prints that I got from a museum. And then this is my paddle that my little Sydney got for me. It's beautiful. <laughs> they always make everything that like matches my aesthetic so well. And then I have this cute little hangy thing from Target. I have my passport card some prints from our last formal that are really cute and then this little fake boarding pass that my roommates made for me for our or for my birthday when we went to fake italy <laughs> and these are from a little calendar that i have over here i save my favorite ones um and hang them up on the wall because they're cute and bunny themed and we move on to the final wall which is over here my desk area so this whole wall, I also DIY'd when I made my curtains. Um, I got little hanging lights and hung them up and put like sheer sparkly white fabric over them. They're really cute. So I turn them on at night. They're like a white blue color. You don't get the effect right now because it's daylight, but I love them. Oh, also if you care, I, this is like the only light that comes with the room. It's just a ceiling fan that is very yellow. And the bed came with the room as well as the drawers, desk, chair, and desk. And I think that's it. Um, but yeah, this is my desk. This is where I do homework. Um, I do my makeup here. Any work I have to do on my computer. So I have all my makeup stuff right here. It's not organized at all because I wanted it to be realistic. <laughs> I have more plants because I love a plant. Um, this is my jewelry holder. I mean, I used to have these little shelves up on the wall, if you remember from my dorm tour. Um, but now I use them as storage for my desk. So I put another cute little picture from... Of, so I put another cute little picture of me and my little Disneyland here. And my Q-tips and tape. A little candle my favorite little chip guy and I got this glass from the thrift store to hold my brushes and then a fake succulent and me and my roommates made these little fairy houses when we went to color me mine adorable this is a paddle that I just got from my little how many times am I gonna say from my little in this video sponsored by Miko and Sydney for decorating my entire room <laughs> um she made this for my 21st birthday which was like a week ago so I put that there and then this section is like all of the not fun functional stuff. These are all of my pens and my scissors in a mug that I got on the top of the Eiffel Tower. I'm obsessed with it. Um, these are all my eyeshadow palettes. And then down here I have a little bottle of Febreze which is where I store all my scrunchies. I have glasses that hold my hair clips, hair ties, and then bobby pins back there. And then this little jewelry box I'm in the middle of painting, but it holds my bracelets that I don't really access that much and it works as a stand for my little mirror to do my makeup. Cute little coaster. So yeah, this desk and chair are not my favorite, but they came with the apartment, so we're making do. Under here is more not cute stuff. I have a power strip 
Again, all my cords are covered because I have a little rabbit. Um, this is my printer paper. I keep my printer under here because it was the only spot that it would fit. Um, I have two trash cans. And then I recently added this little area, which I love. I kind of want to get a second one for when we move. When Joanne's opens back up, because that's where I get these crates and I love them, the natural wood, and like you could stack them however to store stuff. So these first two parts are just kind of display areas. I got plant, hand sanitizer. This is the cute little bunny map that I think Sarah got me um, for my birthday. And then, down here I have my three favorite books, little candle, succulent, and then this is all my school stuff. So while I was in class, I had all my notebooks and textbooks right there. That's all my work stuff. It's like my watch, my name tag, set schedules. And then I just have like two file folders with important files, extra binders and stuff down there. And this is a little bed desk that I ordered for when I was doing online school. Very nice. Now, when my door shut, it just looks like so. Again, puke green, <laughs> diarrhea gray doors. But on the back of my doors, um, it depends what is on the back. But right now, I am doing the 100 days of sweat challenge. My roommate Sarah inspired me, so I've been keeping track of that. These are all the empty ones. I have some YouTube video ideas. I just hung up this little inspirational quote that you can see every time you walk out of the door. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I love watching room tours, so I hope it was fun for you to watch. Um, I really love my room right now, but I'm also so, so, so excited to move and just get to like go through all my stuff, try to cut down on some things and redecorate again and also acquire furniture. Everywhere I've lived on my own as of now has been furnished. So buying my own furniture is gonna be really exciting. Um, Hopefully we will find a place and I'll do like an empty apartment tour and then like a decorating series because I find all of that really fun. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see a little update video on Oliver, my sweet bunny, um, make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching. Later. Bye.